Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video we're going to be checking out the HCR56 in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 15 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. All right, so jumping into the attachments on the stock, I'm going to be using the Bruin MX-9 stock. It adds sprint speed, crouch movement speed, aim walking speed, and aim down sight speed. The cons are aiming stability and recoil control. The tuning I'm going to be going with is negative 3.10 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 1.86 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Over on the rear grip, I'm going to be using the Bruin Q900 grip, add sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control. With the tuning, I'm going to be going with negative 0.81 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.39 inches to the width to add sprint to fire speed. Over on the underbarrel, I'm going to be using the FTAC Ripper 56. It adds aiming auto stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. The cons are aim down sight speed and walking speed. The tuning I'm going to be going with is 0.72 ounces to the weight to add recoil stabilization and 0.31 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Over on the barrel, I'm going to be using the 18 inch Bruin Gorilla barrel. To add hip recoil control, aim down side speed, and recoil control, the cons are damage range, hip fire accuracy, movement speed, and bullet velocity, which is pretty bad, but we're mainly wanting that aim down side speed that it gives. You can go with the 24.4 inch Bruin S620 barrel, but personally, I like this one better. Over on the tuning, I'm going with 0.40 pounds to the weight to add recoil steadiness, and negative 0.34 inches to the length to add aim down side speed. To add more aim down sight speed, I'm going to be using the AQ Shot 5 milliwatt laser to add aim down sight speed and aiming stability. I wanted to make like a really good movement and aim down sight speed uh, LMG, and this is probably my best class setup for that. I highly recommend trying it, and if you do, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Or if you have a better class setup for this gun, please let me know what it is. Know what it is down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, we're going to be using the HCR. For some reason, we got into a late game, so we're going to try to bring this back. It's definitely going to be a little hard. I can't be too aggressive with this gun. My game is lagging. Definitely need to get streaks pretty quickly here. Pick up this gun. Where did this guy come from? Alright, we need to be a little quick here. That was pretty stupid. We have streaks now. I'm trying to hide behind the cover. Actually, I like this class setup a little bit. It just takes me a while to get used to using this gun. Jeez. Oh, we brought the game back. Got two teammates that are barely playing, I think. What is this guy doing? <clears throat> 
what in the world? What is he doing? I could have swore there was a guy right here. He could have killed me. I don't know what. Oh God, my teammate scared me. This in. Scared. I'm a little scared here, I'm not gonna lie. It's twenty-seven. Jump down. Hard point Stand by. This guy pops daddy on me and then knives me. I'm gonna be so mad. That's the nuke right there. Let's go. I feel like I'm playing against like four people. Come on, shoot your gun. God. This guy is so scary with this knife room. I don't even like going anywhere because of him. Didn't even know there was a guy on top of me. I have 41 kills right now. I mean, it's a pretty slow game because I was going for a nuke.
I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Forty six kills. Hope you guys enjoyed. GG's.